going on everybody welcome back to the channel today I'm gonna to be putting together a prison slash homemade tattoo machine this is similar to the one I made when I was in prison and I'm also going to be showing you what I use at the shop I work at and maybe see how similar they are hope everybody's having a great day night wherever you're from and so let's just drop right into it all right so now what we have here is the motor y'all can see that it ain't gonna focus in on it i don't know why but this is the motor from this right here simple beard trimmer now what we have is this motor we're gonna focus in on it yeah i took this out of this beard trimmer right here all I did was pop it off like so the motor was in here like that I just took it apart and this is what it was left so I bought some wire I mean in prison there's plenty of ways to get stuff so I bought some speaker wire or 12 gauge wire obviously you don't need something this big you probably get away with 8 gauge whatever but I wired it to Oh, I wired it to positive and negative. I don't know if y'all can get that. There we go. Yeah. I think that red is positive. But that's all right. It's still going to work regardless. So, this is a toothbrush I bought. What I did was, it was straight. And all I did was do like that in the middle. Like that. And it bent it. You bend it like this at a 45 degree angle. Cause this is where you're gonna put your uh, your pen. That's gonna be your grip. Where you're gonna slide the needle in and out of. It's gonna be like this. I'm probably gonna cut this in half though. Not the toothbrush, but the, I'll probably cut the toothbrush too. But I'm gonna cut the pen also. So, so you wanna do that? Burn that, and it's gonna be a 45 degree angle like this. All right. So we got this part off. You can sand it down if you want. You see, it's gonna be just about like that. 45 degree angle. Bam. All right, so what you're going to do is you want to tape it like that. Y'all see that? Yeah, you're going to tape it like this. Okay. Get you some tape, rubber band, whatever it will have you. And wrap it around so it's nice and nice and firm on there All right so I'm gonna get a little one going hold on because you pretty much want it to be even with the machine or the motor right so start off right there well oh. get it going Bam. Now, I'm not making this to where it's going to be like daily use. This is more like a demonstration of how to put it together. I got to make this a little bit lower. I put the needles got to sit flush with the top of the motor. Wire came off. I'm going to show you how to put that on anyway. All right, so it's going to be pretty much like this. Get the tape around it. And it's sitting flush with it, right? Okay, so next step you want to do is get your needle ready. Well, the, the barrel. Get your regular big pen like this. You're going to take the top off. Right. Then this part right here. See this part right here? I got a little ink on my finger. You're going to take this out. Okay. Because the needle is going to come through this tip right here. I don't know if you can see that. This little tip right here. All right, so this thing was full of ink. I had to let it drain overnight, so it's pretty much empty now, except for a little bit at the top, but we ain't gonna use that end. We're gonna use this end right here. So what you wanna do is maybe 
cut this maybe out right here with a razor, razor blade. Cut it like right there. So we're gonna do that now. If I need a little bit more, I'm gonna, I'll cut more off, but go ahead and slice that off. Then you're, not, you're only left with this. You only got a little bit now. <clears throat> All right. So normally I would get a guitar string from the music department, but I don't have guitar strings. So I just took one of the needles from the shop. But if you were going to make this out of guitar string, you would just unravel it. And there's a little, and there's steel behind it like this. This is a needle from the shop. So what I'm going to be doing, normally you would use a needle from the guitar string, but I'm going to be using this needle that I got from the shop. And I'm just going to break it off right about here and melt it with the plastic piece from the pen. So let me break that off now. We got our needle and what I'm going to do is I'm going to light it with this lighter and it's going to melt and you're going to put your needle right in there like so. So you light it, all right, get it nice and going, bam. Put your needle right in it, just like that. Needle's right in there. I don't know if y'all can see that. Let it cool for a minute. Cause it's gonna harden up while it's getting cool. While it's, it's already getting cool, it's already hardening up. Good. That's pretty much your needle, All right? It ain't going nowhere. That's your needle. Bam. All right. So now what you want to do is you want to take, you want to make a barrel. Now, you, sometimes we did it with the top of the pen. That way you can move it up and down as you needed to. The top of the pen, you want to take this gold part off. Or you want to use some nail clippers to take it off. Like right here. You want to take that off. So that's what I did. Bam. It came right off. Because that's where your needle is going to fit through. Yeah, first you want to break about half of this pin off. I'm going to use my razor for that. Wherever my razor went. Oh, here it is. Just do it like this. Bam. Cut right through it. You don't want to make it too long. It snaps open. Because it's going to sit like this. You know what I mean? Gonna sit like that. All right, you wanna put the pen back on top of this into your casing right here, so it's like this. All right, so I had to form these two together. I made the barrel, the needle holder too short, so so now we got a bigger one. Yeah, it's bigger now. I'm gonna probably trim these off. That's it right there. Getting it through. I don't know if y'all can see that. Yeah, it's through there, right? Okay, so what you do now is you make a little hole through this. So you're gonna take it and it's gonna go through here on top of the motor, this part right here. So you do it like this. Put it on the motor. Bam. It's going to sit right on top of that. Okay. So it's on there now. So I just got to tape it up. I Usually I shave these off or cut them off. But, you know, for purposes of this video, I'm just going to leave it like it is. So I'm not going to be using this. So you're going to tape around the barrel. You're going to put some tape around there, rubber band, whatever. Put it around there. Some tape. Now, if you was really making this, you would want to tape it really good. But I'm just taping it to hold it on there. Like that. Yeah, just tape it around. 
once you had it at your desired length that you want the needle to come out of, you know. So there it is, right? That's it. Of course, it's a little crappy, but like I said, I ain't making this to use it. So let's hook it on up. So you will take the wires and hook this up to this one, to this side, like that. Normally I'd put electrical wire around it, but ain't no need to. Okay. So that's hooked up. Now you, what you want to do is you want to hook it up to a battery. Normally we were using C batteries, D batteries. Um, off commissary, but I'm just going to hook it up to a double A battery and um, see what we get. So you'll take one end to the positive terminal or positive end. That's the terminal. Just tape that on there. Where'd it go? Right here. Take your positive, hook it up to the top of this, right? It's on there. Then you take your negative and put it on the other side. What I used to do before I made, I just leave the tape on the wire and then when I was ready, I just hook it up. Man, y'all hear that? Y'all hear that? It's running. It's running now. It would be a lot smoother, but you gotta think I haven't built one. Look at that. It's going back and forth. And that's all you gotta do. The needle's going in and out. Easy. Of course I like I said I could have made this a little bit better. But I'm not using it, so, of course, I would trim all this off, you know, rubber banded it maybe, and did it a little bit better. But for the purpose of this video, see how quick and easy it is to make? Easy. So, what I'm going to talk about now is what I use at the shop. Alright, so, what I normally use at the shop, well, I just got a tattoo pen. It's about like that. But... My main tattoo machine that I used every day was this bad boy right here. It probably can't focus in on it because it's focusing on my face, which I hate. But this is a Cheyenne Hawk Thunder. Uh, as y'all can see, it's like a rotary machine. You got your power thing right here. This is where you plug in the power cord right here. Um, the, the grip goes right here. It screws on. The motor is actually in here. This is a $400 machine. But what you do to put this together is, I will show y'all, and it doesn't take regular needles. This doesn't take regular needles. This takes cartridge needles, needle cartridges. Um, I'll show you. This is my grip. That's the grip I use. Needle goes in there. So I put it on like this, right? And it screws on like that. And you can twist it for your needle depth, which I really like. So that's your grip right there. You hold it like this, right? So the cartridge needles I use look like this. Can't focus in on it. Look like this. And they go in and out like that. Right? So what you do, you do I don't have my power supply here. I'm I don't tattoo out the shop, so I can't demonstrate it running, but you put it in like but you take the machine, you take the needle cartridge, you put it in like that. It's so much easier. Right? And that's it, right there. That's the machine I use. And it's so lightweight, it's so comfortable. 
I can tattoo for hours and not get hand fatigue. I was using coils before, and those are heavy after a while. So I stopped using them, bought one of these, love it. Well, now I'm using a, a pen, because they're starting to come out with pen ro rotary pens, and those are even more simpler to use. And uh, you don't have it eliminates the grip. You don't use these anymore. You just put the, you take the needle cartridge, you put it in, you go. You wrap it up with tape and you go. So, uh, the similarities, it, it's a rotary. It runs off a motor. It doesn't use coils. It, there's a motor just like this one. It's in here. I mean, it's not just like that one. That's a beer trimmer motor. This has actually got a decent motor in it. Because it's meant for hours and hours and hours of working. So these are meant to last for a while. And this one hasn't let me down yet. I've had it for about three years now. And my tattoo work has improved because of it. So am I out there thinking about getting these? I mean, they only sell the licensed artists. But if you can ever get your hands on one of these or any kind of rotary, try them out. It's better than putting one of these together. You know, I was just showing it for purposes, but the reality is you don't have to do this no more. I mean, we're not in prison. You don't have to do this no more. Go get you a, a rotary tattoo machine. They're everywhere. You know. The, I mean, this isn't cheap, but they do have some decent cheap ones you can get off of Amazon. My tattoo pen is actually off of Amazon. It's called the Mass Tattoo Pen. I forgot who it's by, but... That thing is sweet. So, there's no need, like I said, there's no need to do this crap anymore. You don't need to. You just buy it offline. As many materials you're going to get to build this, you can just go ahead and get you one off of Amazon. And it'll be way better than using that crap. People still use this crap are out of their freaking minds. Or retarded, in my opinion. Go get you a regular tattoo rotary machine. It's easy. Now, it's not going to help you tattoo. If you can't tattoo, you can't tattoo. Don't even try to do it. If you suck, you suck. Move on. Do something else. Let us do it. The professionals. But I wasn't always a professional. I started out in the house. Started out in prison, came home, was doing them out in the house. And they were terrible. Terrible. But I stuck with it, and I've gotten better, and now it's my career. So... But that's about it. I appreciate y'all watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, smash that like button. I'm not sure what I'm going to talk about this week. I'll think of something. Any suggestions, put them in the comments below. And I love you guys, and I'll see you guys on the next video.